It's still too many bad. Shout out to Lenny TV. We're rocking with him heavy. What's good, everybody? You tuned into Lenny TV, and I'm here with my boy 302 Maybach. What's good, man? What's up? Man, so you just dropped uh, your recent video. Go ahead and tell us the name of it and how many views it got so far. Last video I dropped was what you trying to do. It mm -hmm. was probably at a, almost a stat right now. I ain't even promoting it like that, but yeah, it was cool though. I fuck with it. What you trying to do? It's out on YouTube right now. Been out for like a week mm -hmm. or a week or two. Yeah. All right, and. Uh, when you were dropping that video, like, did you have a certain vision for it? Like, did, was it like, okay, this video is gonna be the one for me that like that sets the bar high? Yeah, cause for for it's like I everybody used to say I drop good quality music, and it's like mm -hmm. nobody know my face for it. So I'm like, all right, this summer I'ma drop videos back to back, and yeah, I worked with Strat by that shots by Strat. Mm -hmm. he, he made it come out real good. Um, it came out nice. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. This is how I wanted it. Okay, and uh, so you got any other videos you're gonna be dropping soon too? And do you got mixtape coming soon? Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm doing videos all summer. Mm -hmm. I got a profit coming up. Then I don't even know after that, but I, I'm gonna do like at least two or more videos. Okay. Then I might I might drop another tape, probably just like a ten track, you know, by the end of the summer. Okay. Now how long have you been rapping, man? Been rapping. Just started for real. Been rapping for about two years. Mm -hmm. First track I dropped was um, on SoundCloud two years ago. For real, it was, it was tied up. I ain't even mean for it to do the numbers like that, but it's <laughs> like, real shit. It, it, right now it's at 400,000. 400,000 plays on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I first dropped it, I'm thinking this about I catch like 2,000 plays my first song, but that shit just went. Back then I didn't really know what I was doing with music back then, so it was just like numbers on top of numbers, but I like I didn't know what I was doing with it. So, now was trying to get back to that point, so I ran it up again. Okay. All right, so what inspired you to rap? Like, what inspired you to get into the rap game? Rap? I don't know. It's just been me. Like, mm -hmm. when I was young, I used to just make music. Like, I I was kept it on a low though. He was one of the most people that inspired me out of rap. It's my brother right here. Mm -hmm. Um, I used to, I was in elementary school. I was in the chorus. I was playing the saxophone. I was playing just always around music for real. And I just was listening to rap. I'm like, this shit seemed easy. And I was just writing my notes. Like, <laughs> real shit, just writing my notes. And I was like. Why not? But I, at, the, at the same time, I wasn't really open with it. Like I would rap. The only people that was around me know I rap. Mm -hmm. And so, him and a couple of my my brothers was like, go at it. That's when I dropped my first song, and it was just like, I ain't stopped since. Okay. Now, are you in high school or did you graduate? No, I just graduated. Okay. So like, were you were you uh, like in the cafeteria rapping and stuff too, or on the bus rapping? No, nah, I'm calm with it though. That's okay. why, as a lot of people don't understand that, like. I'll go out, people say, a lot of times they say I don't act like a rapper or I'm too humble. People say like, why don't you like go out and show out and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's just not me. Now of course, like it was certain times I rap, like as you can see, go on my Instagram, it's paid, it's um, posts on there where I'm rapping in the classroom. That's just when I feel like it, mm -hmm. when I when I want to. It's not, I'm not the boy to come up to me like, yo freestyle, like, no, that's just not me. Yeah. I mean, on some laid back shit. Now it seems like you the ladies man too. I be seeing you got <laughs> you got a lot of ladies, uh, you know, singing your songs and stuff like that. So, so would you consider yourself a ladies man? I mean, I guess with the, <laughs> with the songs, because a lot of my songs appeal to that. So it's like a lot of my fans are females. Mm -hmm. But it's like I'm about to switch it up though. Honestly, like the next video I'm gonna do is profit. That's like a trap type, tra trap type vibe. So it's like I'm gonna switch it up with it. But yeah, I'm gonna try to have both fan bases. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right now, yeah, like you go on my page, you see women. The girls making videos, I always show love, you mean, say thank you, I appreciate it, I repost it, put it on my Insta snap, all that. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I think they like to do that, because it's like I'm showing love back. Right. Now, did you see that tweet by Isaiah Lee um, a few <laughs> days ago? Yeah, I did. Okay, a lot of people came at his neck on Twitter and stuff, you know, with that D hottest thing, because yeah. he said, this is everybody in this room are like the hottest Delaware rappers. Um, how did you feel when you seen that tweet? I, it didn't affect me though, mm -hmm. but like it's like a lot of my friends is hitting my phone because I remember I was up, I think I was at the is it, I stayed up late as shit that night, the night before, so I woke up late. I opened my phone, I write texting me, sending me a picture. I'm like, what the hell is this? Get on Twitter, <laughs> like it's all this shit. I'm like, damn. But it's like it don't really matter to me about all of that. Like for for real, and, and rap, I think I'm honestly the underdog anyway. So mm -hmm. it's like that shit don't affect me. Just push me to do more. But that tweet didn't mean nothing to me. It's like that shit type shit happen all the time. I mean, first of all, it was a opinion. Second of all, like, it wasn't nothing for real. It was, mm -hmm. Like, that shit, that type of stuff don't affect me. So it's like, I'm gonna just keep grinding, grinding. Gotta do what I gotta do. And whoever the hottest, that, mm -hmm. that don't mean nothing to me. Cause it's like, it's not like a race. 
it's like who anybody anybody can make it mm-hmm. and it's not only one person that can make it everybody can do it so it's like whoever get there first you got there first but everybody can get there so i'm just taking my time music good so it's just, it's just gonna happen eventually a couple of people i talked to that are fans of hip-hop like myself um i really didn't have nothing to say about it i just enjoyed that uh the tension was finally coming out because i know there's a lot of hidden tension with delaware artists when it came to this yeah. hottest quote when it comes to this quote of being the hottest in delaware do you think it should just go away and everybody should just work together i mean it's like i think for sure i think everybody should work together but at the mm-hmm. same time having that around like push people to want to be the hottest so i think it's, it's like good but yeah but then again it's the same time like people don't want to work together because they like don't want to show love or people think it's dicky and like mm-hmm. everybody use that term so it's like it's 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 negatives and there's positives mm-hmm. so it pushes people to, to try to be the hottest at the same time it's like everybody could come together like people in Chirac come together and do something crazy because Delaware got a lot of talent mm-hmm. but not a lot of people notice it because you hear a lot of people saying oh I don't listen to Delaware or rappers and I don't listen to Delaware this like I don't understand why this is where you come from now being in Delaware right like we're surrounded by New York we're surrounded by uh, Pennsylvania which has Philly yeah. we were surrounded by Jersey Maryland and we're just like in that tri-state area and um you know it seems like we always get overlooked do you feel like Delaware just has a lot of hidden talent yeah for sure mm-hmm. For sure, we got a lot of artists, not even just the music. We got a lot of models, a lot of clothing lines. Clothing lines crazy. Like, we got a lot, a lot of um, talent, basketball, football. Like, we got a lot. It's just it's just going to take one person to really make it, and everybody, that's what I believe. Everybody going to just, just, it's going to go. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just now we're going to have the spotlight on Delaware for shit to shine. Now, growing up and just like, you know, you, you know, you say you were just like right in and uh, you knew that you could naturally rap. Were you inspired by somebody in the mainstream industry that was an artist too? Yeah, I can't, yeah, but I can't really say like one person. Like, I listen to all types of music, mm-hmm. literally like industry to underground. Like mm-hmm. I was just rapping. And at first it, when I started off, it was just rapping like bar to bar to bar. But now I started putting a melody into it. And like, cause I, I listen to like underground rappers. Mm-hmm. And it's just like they get on hooks and they're still rapping and all that. And like that shit hot, but then it's like, you listen, you get in the car, you driving on the street, listening to the radio, and this motherfucker's like singing and got the hooks crazy. So it's like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have an industry mindset and like be diverse with shit, fuck up my hooks. Like, I, I like that. Mm-hmm. Like, hooks is crazy. It make the song. Catchy hooks is going to make the song. So I try to start putting the melody to it, and then the verse go right along with it. All right. And um, so, what do you see yourself, man, like in a few years when it, when it comes to this um, music? I see myself far, mm-hmm. real, real far. Like, me and my brother right now, we just, like, like I said, I'm the underdog, I feel as if, mm-hmm. but it's, it's gonna come heavy. It's gonna come heavy. Because it's like, the music is there. Right now, I'm what? I'm over, I'm over a million plays on SoundCloud. So, it, like, it means, it means something in total. It means something, so that's like, I just gotta keep pushing. Once I get that one big song, it's just gonna blow. Like right now, the music good, I just gotta get the buzz up. That's the, that's my thing this summer, is just I'm trying to do as much videos as I can. And my brother, he right here by, beside me. Like anything I do, he, he'll vouch for it. He'll go right with me, never tell me. And if I'm doing anything wrong, he'll let me know. Like, and then, um, like, like if it's a song he don't like, like, bro, this is on trash. Like, I got so many songs that's sitting in my phone or in my computer or mm-hmm. with my producer that's just not out. Not even because they, like, if it's not up to me, like how I, if I feel like it's going blown, then it's not it. I guess some songs also that I just personally don't, I like, but I don't think it's going to do numbers. And he, he think it's, bro, this is the best song you ever got. I'd be like, nah, bro, it's just, it just don't touch me, so I'm not going to put it out. Yeah. And that's also good to have around you too. Like what you said, what your, what your brother was saying is like it seems like he's not a yes man. You know, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people, especially like I won't say just in the state, but in around like this country, it's like everybody that rap now they probably got yes man around yes men around them that say okay yeah this high this high this high when a song yeah. may not be all of that. So yeah. it's good to have that uh, around you too. Yeah, it's a lot of people that like you're singing music too and like. Just say yeah, this is hot. Like everyone hot. Like come on, man. I'd rather you keep it a bean with me because I don't mm-hmm. want to put it out. Like it's just one song. I can make another song. Like mm-hmm. him, I send it to him. Boom, bro. This joint hot. This joint hot. The other one, throw it away. You know what I'm saying, my man, Kyrie. Same thing with him. Like send him, send him joints all the time, bro. This joint, see this joint. This one for take. 
bro, drop this one this day, do a video for this one, the other one, I don't really like it. Trash it, like, I like that. That's why I only send it to a handful of people. But, like, and then sometimes you see me on Instagram sending it to people, but that's, that's songs I already know I'm gonna drop. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And you got any features or like, do you like work, working with certain artists in Delaware? Yeah. Um, I haven't done a lot of features, but I got, I do, who have I got a feature? I got a feature with Della, mm -hmm. Bravo, Bravo Williams, fuck them heavy, mm -hmm. and um, Young Friend. I got a lot of songs with Friend. A lot of them not even out, but yeah, his brother is raw. Go to him on the record, that's my like main producer. Okay. So I then, um, that's his little brother, so it's just like we clip. First song I did with him is when I met Izzy, and then we just ran with it. Like now he be, be throwing me the beats, and I run right off him. I like hate and went it up, profit, all shit like that. Like, bangers. Is he heavy? I got him doing this at the top in the city, the producers. Now, when did. Up. Oh, my bad, bro. Now, when, when did you meet uh, Bravo? Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. Uh, It was around the time on the tape. Is he on my tape? Mm -hmm. And I dropped my tape. It was around the time when I dropped my tape. I think it was on Twitter. I think I had. um, I think he had dropped a song and I had added him and said I liked the song or something. And then. um. He hit me back, said, yeah, I'm trying to work you hot. So we just linked up, made it happen. And I fuck with his music, he fuck with mine. So it's like, that's what it is. I show love, he show love. You see me all the time posting his music on Insta Snap. Like, I fuck with him. Like, I'm not the type of person to say, oh, he hot. I want to be better than him. So I'm not going to show love. I'm going to show love if I like your music. Like, I show love to anybody. Mm -hmm. As long as you're showing love back, that's just how I rock. Okay. And uh, what's the name? Mixtape or what was your most favorite song that you like ever put out where it got like a lot of buzz? I don't know. I only got one tape out right now. It's okay. called Take Me Simple on Spinrilla. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite songs would be probably Profit, which I might do a video for. I think it's one of my biggest songs. It's at like 30. That one is at 30,000 plays right now. Yeah. But then again, I have like a song tied up. It's my first song ever. It's like 400. It's at 400,000. But then again, I, like, that's my first song. So then more shit has grown on me. And then there's little stuff. Like I got um, Unforgettable Freestyle. Mm -hmm. I listen to that shit all the time. Like, <laughs> right, that's, that's one of my favorite songs by me. But then Prophet did more. So it's like, I don't know. I just got, and it's a lot of songs that nobody has ever heard before that I probably won't ever drop that I just keep to myself and listen to. Because mm -hmm. it's like more than just music being tough and I'm putting out there, it's like music that actually touched me. Like, it's some songs that I wrote, that deep shit that nobody ever heard before, like, but me and Izzy in the studio, that just like, all about something I'm going through. Like, it's been shit that I go through and I just sit down and write it, like, bro, I got in the studio, just me and you, we're gonna record that joint and just listen to it sometimes when I'm going through shit and nobody ever heard it. Yeah, we'll get you up in the morning that like, just motivates you to keep on going. I know you got your brother here beside you, but is there anything else that keeps you going? Shit my environment mm -hmm. looking around me it's like and then i don't i'm not i'll I be up all night i just on in, on on youtube looking up interviews like hove everybody shit like it's just it's just motivation but oh yeah meek mill too mm -hmm. meek mill motivated me a lot so i just look at that shit and it's like damn like these people came from the same type shit i'm from and now they where i want to be mm -hmm. so it's like oh it's they motivate me and my mom like she be in my ear every day trying to like yo, go to school do this do this do that mm -hmm. like she just be down on my back so it's like my mom motivated me a lot and she like she know about she support my music she you know what I'm saying she just said I curse a lot but um <laughs> yeah she support me she said whatever you gotta do you gotta do it just make sure you do it to the fullest and take it way serious said one shot hit up your body and make you break dance everything i drop is fire nigga call me caveman man. really use the trust bitches nigga i'm the change man. man say the wrong thing and i'ma hang you like it's hangman why i'm slept on i'm, I'm still looking for the answers. answers calling on a deal i'm just praying that they answer i'm trying to be a king and you trying to be a savage my niggas want beef we can have it uh -huh. touch my bread you get toasted i'm the hottest and you know it say you real you got show it drop my pants and she gonna blow it my team drugs so lit and make you tap dance i'm swagging party so that bitch give me a lap dance